Okay guys, today we're going to be making a coin lay. You can use quarters, nickels, dimes, pennies. If you want, you can even fold up dollars, five dollars, twenties, if you want to give the person more. Okay, so we're gonna be using cellophane and I will be using this color yellow. You can use any color you want. You can use print if you want. Okay, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, we're gonna cut squares and it's gonna be about three inches by three inches per square, okay? So I'm going to fold it to make straight lines. That's about a little bit over three inches just to give you some room, okay? Then we're going to cut it straight across. And then we're going to fold it again and we're going to cut it again to make our square. Okay, now you can see it's a little bit bigger, but that's okay. Okay, then we're going to take we're going to take a coin. In this case, we're going to be using a quarter. Okay? And you just basically wrap it up and twist it. Then you use a ribbon to make sure it's tight and sealed. And I want to tie a knot around it. Now just make it upright and we have a nice sealed coin. We're going to make about $40 worth of this uh, for my lay. So you just have to keep on wrapping and we'll show you the next part later. So we're going to fold it again to make our squares. Okay, and then just cut straight across. Okay, then we're gonna fold it in half to make our square. It's okay if it's uneven. It, it makes a nicer edge at the end. Okay, then we're gonna take this one piece of cellophane, grab a coin, put the shiniest side down. Okay, fold in and fold up and twist. Okay, so now that it's twisted, you get a ribbon any kind of ribbon you want it can be even wrapping ribbon from Christmas or you know birthdays or whatever okay. and we're gonna tie a knot our little coin ready oops sorry ready for our lay now we're gonna put our lay together okay so I am using black ribbon and this is satin so I'm putting the shiny side up and I'm giving a few inches so I can tie the end of the lay okay so what we're gonna do is we're going to tie this together to make a knot What we're going to do is take each coin just like so and we're going to just tie it in there. Okay, and I want to make sure that it is in there good, so I'm going to double tie it to make a knot. Okay, and that's how we're starting off our lay. 
just like that. Oh, and um, the ribbon is about seven feet, five inches long. This is just an estimate depending on how long you want the lay. Okay, and just continue on adding in coins. Okay, and when you put the coins in, it's better that you stack it like that together at the bottom. Okay, so when you tie it in, it'll be nice and neat like that. Okay, and every single one is going to be double tied. So my color scheme, I am doing three yellow and one blue. And as you can see, it's slowly coming together. And just a little tip guys, I noticed that I made a really, really short one here and it's really hard to get in here. So you have to make sure that you have enough space for these guys, okay? For the top. See? Look at that. <laughs> This is how the end of the lay looks. Okay, now all we need to do is take the ends of the ribbons and tie them together. And if you want to make it nicer, you can make a separate bow. Okay, so you can tie it in a knot just to close it for now. So now we're going to take extra ribbon, the shiny side up, and we're just going to make a bow. Okay, and then what you can do is just adjust it to how big you want it on your lay. Okay, 